All right, everybody, here we are recording the first chest day workout video here with Barrett. Barrett, introduce yourself. My name is Barrett, and I have introduced myself. Okay, very well put. So we're gonna, I'll go ahead and start it with the Smith machine just to warm up with 135 because the bar, uh, I think it's like takes away 20 pounds. Right here we're gonna go on dumbbell presses to warm up as well. They get the pectoral muscles already, fi the fibers of the muscles tearing right here. As you can see right there on the top part. Yeah, I usually check my form like that, uh, looking in the mirror just to make sure I'm going all the way down and all the way out too as well, locking out that is. And here we have Barry, go ahead and explain to right here. Well, you know, right here, I pause a little bit at the top for one second, just to get the contraction going. And by the way, I do try and put my elbows in, because that is the main function of the chest, to actually reach across the chest. And that's how you actually get it fully activated. And this is just me doing a dumbbell chest press. Soon never changed to Abram, so let's hit it off. All right, right here, I believe it was the heaviest, which was about 70 or 75 pounds. I can't really remember. As you can 70. see, it's going a little bit slower there. You know, I'm trying to go all the way down and locking out at the top. What most people don't really do, but it's really effective when it comes to strength and building the tricep muscle as well when you're locking out at the top like that. And I don't know if you guys can see, but my shirt says leg day. I know it's not leg day. All right, right here, we have incline press. Go ahead, Barry. Well, yeah, you know, basically the same contract concept with this. You know, contraction straight across the chest. Basically the same thing with all chest movements is to get straight across the chest and across. If you can, squeeze as much as you can with your chest. And I'm gonna hit it back off to Abram because the video should be shifting back to him. All right, yeah, and good job locking out right there. So yeah, this is my incline part right here. I went ahead and checked my form just in case. Sometimes you can tell when your arm is going lower than the other. It's a really, really big thing you don't want. You just want to keep them both at the same time. Hit, hit that 90 degree angle when you're coming down and then lock out all the way up for strength as well as definition. Uh, it's gonna be right here. The next one is gonna be flies for the pectoral muscles as well. You can see the muscle fibers right there We're activating, which is really, really good. Uh, that's how you know you're doing it right. I'm coming from experience. It's something that I usually try to work on on every chest day. Right here we have incline chest flies, which is something that hits the top pectoral muscles. Uh, you should try that out, Barry. I mean, I'm pretty sure it'll, you know, get you a little bit defined and, and help you out with uh, accelerating the muscle growth too. As well, what do you think? Personally, I like to do it on like the cables for that one. Yeah. Usually, it's a little bit safer for your shoulder. You know, here if you're going heavy and you accidentally go all the way back, yeah, it could rip your shoulder. Right here, this is what you're talking about, huh? But this is a little bit for the decline, huh? Yeah, but usually you can shift it. If you go all the way to the bottom, you can actually do it, incline. Yeah. Because basically your arms will be pointing upwards at that point. Pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, like I said, my shirt says leg day, guys, but I know it's just the only tank I had at the moment because my clothes was uh, washing, so went ahead and slipped that puppy on. <clears throat> went ahead and did chest day with Baritona, aka Barrett, aka El Sancho, aka Barrington Rodriguez El Sancho.com. Just kidding. And here we have Barrett doing the decline. Yep, this is basically for your lower chest because your arms are pointed downwards. So if you think about it, regular bench is upwards straight, and then inclines are going a little bit above 90 degrees, and then decline is always going down. Basically, you can control this whenever, even like doing a regular flat bench press, if you point your arms a little bit more down, push your shoulders a little bit more down, or hit a little bit of the decline and the regular flat chest at the same time. Looks like you're activating the pecs right there really good. Nice, nice. This is the second one we did for the cables. I believe those, uh, the cables is really, really good um, right here when you're trying to get the full stretch coming all the way back. Uh, you would say it's a lot safer, right, Barrett, when it comes to the dumbbells? Yeah, yeah, but it's a lot more safer on the floor. It takes away the big risks, and also, this would be the end of our video. So Subscribe, guys. Like and share for more videos so we can keep posting for them. Uh, go ahead and leave comments of what next videos you want so we can go ahead and go on that route. Thank you, Barrett, for your time. Yo! <laughs> Pilot Barrett. So we're gonna go through the variety of beats and stuff. This is something that you want. 93% lean. That's really good. But what we're gonna go for today to put on a little bit more more size or mass, you can say, would be to cook. Where are they? Over here. These babies. These 
these are delicious. Always look for the tags, guys, because the tags are gonna tell you what you can save off. All right, guys, we just got done doing chest day right now with me and B-Rai. Barrett, how do you think your chest day was? It was mediocre. Mediocre, guys. You heard it here first from 